Joining me today is Luca Saventi, lecturer from the Department of Wine, Food and Molecular Biosciences, who's going to speak to us about the Bachelor of Science majoring in Food Science. But before we get started, Luca, please take a moment to introduce yourself and tell us what you really enjoy about your subject area and your role at Lincoln University. Thank you, Katie, for your nice introduction. Uh, yes, I'm a lecturer at Lincoln University and my area of expertise is functional bakery product. So I teach food innovation in general. So I teach students how to work in the food industry and develop new food products. Um, but I also have an emphasis on bakery. So anything from bread to sweets and cakes. And apart from food innovation, I also teach course, uh, a course on uh, brewing. So uh, it's a course where we teach the basic science and marketing and technology of, of beer. And uh, which is something an industry that is growing quite a lot recently. Mm, absolutely. And you've kind of covered it a little bit, but let's take a closer look at the Bachelor of Science majoring in food science. What can students expect to learn about? So food science is very multidisciplinary. That's a fancy word to say that there are a lot of sciences that go in it. Uh, so food science includes chemistry, biology, engineering, marketing, nutrition, sensory. So the good thing about uh, food science is that students get exposed to a lot of different uh, degrees, a lot of different uh, courses. And ultimately, the main focus is obviously on uh, science. And the idea is to prepare students to be able to work in the food industry to either make traditional products, guarantee that they're safe, or develop new ones. Awesome. So what are classes like? And is there any practical work involved? So especially in the first year, the class size tends to be larger because some courses are shared among different degrees. So for instance, a basic chemistry course will be taken by food scientists, but also by other students. And in this case, the numbers could go up to maybe 100 students. While in the second and third years, the numbers will be lower down to maybe 20, 25, depending on the course. And yeah, there is a strong emphasis on practical work. Some of it is group based and some is individual because mm. ultimately uh, we want to prepare uh, students for a job. So it's important of the theory, but it's also important to have practice and practical work can be challenging, but it, it really helps students preparing for the real world. And it also helps them to meet other people and to learn from those who have different skills. And it's great that you um, talk about this concept of the real world. So let's say that we did graduate, that I did graduate with this qualification. What kinds of careers could I get into? And is there a demand out there in the workforce? Yeah, so I've been here at Lincoln for four years now. And if I look back at the students that I used to teach and now are working in the industry, um, there is a big demand in food. And the reason for it is that people will always eat. <laughs> so no matter what the economy says, uh, some, this career will always be out there. And whether it's a job in production or quality assurance, these are some of the most common ones, but also product development. And this ranges from manufactured food like bakery or dairy or others uh, to also ingredients and supply of different ingredients within and outside New Zealand. So there is a big demand, uh, even pet food, which is something that people don't think about. So it has a lot of opportunities and it's a pretty stable job field. So lastly, bearing all that in mind, do you have any uh, subject advice for students looking to best prepare for courses at university? Yeah, so as we said earlier, uh, there are different courses in food science. So that allows students with very different skills to succeed. And um, what I will recommend is to look at how they perform in high school and what were their favorite topics and what were the least favorite that could allow them to direct their uh, education. Because in the degree of food science, we have quite a lot of elective courses, especially in the first year. We do this to allow students with different skills to choose their path. So whether they're more inclined toward technology or toward science or toward marketing, uh, they will be able to do that. If they know what they want to do, that's great. If they don't, which is, that's perfectly fine, my recommendation would be to talk to the supervisors, to the lecturers, and not be afraid of asking, because a good thing about Lincoln is the small size, so we have the resources 
to address everyone individually. Thanks for joining us today, Luca. If you have any questions or you would like more information, just ask your careers advisor to put you in touch with your Lincoln Liaison Officer. Bye for now. My pleasure, Katie. Bye-bye.